I think this time we should just do one at a time. Yep, that was a lot easier. I think all of the mining that I've done over here has really, really messed with my sense of scale because the roughly two hours that I spent mining all of this felt like absolutely nothing to me. But none of that matters anymore because you are looking at the future location of the biggest storage system that I have ever built. And not just the biggest, but also the most advanced, the most, well, pretty much the most anything you can think of. That's, that's what this is going to be. I think it's long since time that we moved out of this tiny storage system. And while we say goodbye to all of this, we can also say goodbye to ever having to actually do sorting. Because what I'm building right now, this is going to be completely automatic. We're just going to be able to stick our items in a box and just forget about them. I'm just... I'm so excited. This has been such a long time coming. You see, usually when I start a new world, one of the first things I do is a... And actually, I'm going to need to light this up. But as I was saying, one of the first things that I typically do when I start a new world is I go through and I create a really nice automatic storage system because it's just it's just so annoying to live without one. It's such a pain to have to go back and forth and leave all of your items there and then sort them into their chest and then make sure that they're still sorted so that you can actually find stuff later on because when it, it gets to the point when you have this many items and this many random shulker boxes and you're having to sort everything by chest full of shulker boxes instead of just you know double chests full of stuff and and actually this really isn't anything because this over here this thing this thing is no joke i don't know how long it's been since i showed you all of this but uh yeah, this this is all dirt this is all dirt and this this is all stone every single one of these is completely filled all the way and i'm pretty sure even the top i can't even reach that top one Yeah, this top one is almost filled. And actually, that's not even including this gigantic storage system that we've got down here for all of our farms. I'll never get used to this. Because, yeah, we've got all sorts of shulker boxes full of iron. I think we've got gunpowder over there. We've got honeycomb. We've got pumpkins. We've got a whole bunch of these that aren't filled yet. It's like that one's poppies, honey blocks. Oh, we've, we've got all sorts of stuff down here. But, you know, basically all of that to say that we've got a lot of storage that we need to take care of. And I've put a lot of thought into what exactly I want the storage system to look like, but I think if I try and explain that all right now, it's just not really going to make sense until I actually get something in here. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start getting the very first part of the storage system in here, and then I'll come back and explain exactly what's going on. But again, before I can do that, I've got to get a ton of resources gathered, so uh, I better do that. <laughs> doing and i'll be honest i did all of this as a bit to show that oh i'm so awesome because i already have all the resources that i need but no no most of this crafting is sped up like six times i might have all the resources but just going through and crafting all this stuff took me dangerously close to two hours granted i was doing stuff at the same time you know watching the league of legends world championships going and helping my wife cook dinner 
Okay, fine, I wasn't really helping. I was mostly just tasting what she was making, but still. And I sure hope this is plenty because my fingers are exhausted from all this crafting. But hopefully this should be plenty. I mean, that's a lot of observers. But I think we're ready to do this. And I've actually, uh, I've got to do a little bit more digging. I've got to make this just a little bit farther in. And I've also got to make a little bit of a deeper hole over here. I just have to keep reminding myself that all of this effort's gonna be worth it once we're done. But talking about it isn't gonna get it done, so let's just get to it. Alright, well, unfortunately, I've got to pause it there because while on the outside, this may not look like quite as big of a mistake as I made in the last episode with the withers, I assure you, this is at least that big. I guess I just really thought this would be a lot easier than, well, I found out it is, and, uh, yeah, I made a lot of miscalculations here. So... For those of you who, like me, have not a very strong base in redstone, what you're looking at right now is maybe a quarter of a percent of the entire multi-item sorter V5 created by Mooney and Rapscallion, and it is an absolute monster of a sorting system, and I've always wanted to build it. So I decided I'm going to go through and I'm going to build it, but oh boy, did I overestimate my ability to just wing it. And it's honestly even worse than that because I actually wanted to add something on top of this multi-item sorter i wanted to create a regular item sorter behind that but well, we can get to that in a long long time because this this i can already tell is going to be a lot harder than i thought it was going to be so why don't you guys wait right here and i'm gonna fly over here and uh brush up on my redstone knowledge I doing we don't have time to make training montages there's way too much building to be done and that's not even how you learn redstone all right let's go build
this thing is just insane. I mean, as you can see by the, the weird lines around here, I used Lightmatica to build this, but still, like, even using Lightmatica, I'm pretty sure all the replay recordings of me actually building this are somewhere between five and six hours long, and, uh, that's not including all the little stuff that I built without recording, and the incredibly meticulous double and triple checking everything that I did to make sure that everything is actually going to work right, and I'm gonna be honest, I still, I still don't have any idea if it's actually going to work right because if I haven't made this clear enough and I, I want to make this incredibly clear, I did not design this. This is just so far beyond anything that I can even comprehend. I couldn't even tell you how like 95% of this works. The extent of my understanding is that, oh, you know, stuff that falls into this dropper is gonna drop down here and into the chest and yeah that's everything else is just magic to me there's absolutely going to be a link to the big video explaining how this is made and stuff like this i don't understand most of the stuff that's in there but i'm gonna put it there for you it was designed by rapscallion and mooney and it's it's just this is yeah i've got no words if i'm being honest i just really hope it works but of course before i can even test it i've got to go through every single one of these chests and I've got to fill them with stopper blocks to keep, you know, items from going through there. And I'll explain how all of this works a little bit better. I only really, really basically understand it myself. I've got to fill all of these every single slot with stopper blocks. I've got to fill all of these with some filters. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of little filter stuff that I've got to do. And all of that has to be done before I start this up because, yeah, if, if this thing doesn't work on the first try, there's basically 0% chance that I'll ever be able to troubleshoot it, so I'm trying to be incredibly careful. And, uh, there you go. I've been using FreeCam to go around and double check everything, and, uh, I've gone past this I don't know how many times, probably, like, 20 times, and I only just now noticed that none of these repeaters are in here. So, uh, that's probably a big deal. Yeah, this is, this is, a. Uh, Something that would have been a lot easier if I had got it right on the first try, because now I've got to go in between all of these components, but, uh, you know. You can see I did it perfectly over on this side, but for some reason I just, I don't know. There are a few little places like here over on this side where it says there's something wrong, but I don't think there actually is. I think this is just a bug because if you look at this little thing up in the right hand corner, it's saying that there should be some wire going up on the east side, but there's a block right there and there's no way for it to go through. And the thing that makes me feel a little bit more confident is if I come over to this side in the exact same spot where it should be over here, you can see, oh, it's, it's all the same like all, all of this side is just fine and i did it exactly the same so i'm pretty sure that's just a bug hopefully any redstone masters watching this aren't looking at this being like oh you're uh, making a big mistake right now but yeah i've i've checked this so many times i'm just I'm so certain that it's all right. I, I really hope that it's all right and I'm not missing something. So I think all that's left to do now is I just need to fly back over here and I need to rename a whole bunch of items so that I can use them as filters. And now to rename basically a whole shulker box of items because I'm not sure exactly how many I need, but it's probably pretty close to this many. But I'm not mean enough to make you sit through all of this, so let's just skip ahead to the fun part. Well, it turned out to be a lot closer to four shulker boxes than one, but I think we're ready to try it out. Wow, I, I am really nervous, and it's getting really late, so I'm hoping uh, I'm not making a stupid mistake because I'm just tired or something, but I think... We'll throw this in there and we'll see if it works. Now, obviously there could be problems farther down the line, but uh, we'll just give it a, a little tiny try for the beginning. All right, so those are popping down in here. That all seems to be working properly. Now, if we come up here. Oh yeah, it looks like it's working. Uh, all the glass is going straight into this one, which should be right here oh wow it's like one in the morning here so sorry if my uh my voice doesn't sound quite the same as usual but i 
I am so relieved. I'm so happy that this is working. It's already the day after the day that I had planned to get this video out. So I really want to get a move on and get all of this done. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of sleep tonight because I am exhausted. And then tomorrow, once I get some free time, then I'm going to come through here. I'm going to test just a little bit more and then I'll bring you back in, tell you uh, hopefully that everything works perfectly. And then I can edit this video and get it out. I am so excited for this. This is this is just going to be amazing. But I'm going to go to bed because I am so tired. Well, it's the next day in real life and I've had a little bit of time to go through and check everything and I think it's working perfectly. I set up a little bit of a test here. So we've got all of these chests that I put some items into. There's one down there at the end and I'll just show you how it works. I can put all of this stuff into this system and then I'll move over to free cam where you can see all of the items are coming up through here. You can see whenever this torch lights up, it means that there's items going through the system and so you can kind of track where it's going as it follows along this path and then back along here and i'm pretty sure the first item should be right here so we should see this one light up but this one not light up and if we go back to our real person then yep the, you can see there's chests filling up right there and i'll bet the glass is actually already filled up over here because of the glass it's a little bit confusing because this one right here is actually the second chest down here whereas this one we have to go all the way around all the way back and then it'll fill into this chest and this is actually the first chest in the line it is it's a tiny little detail but everything looks like it's working perfectly you can see more items coming down here there's a little bit of a gap right there so this is one type of item and then this is another type of item coming through looks like all of our target blocks filled up nicely over on this side and now we just need to wait and see now it looks like we should be getting some items over here as well think that yep you can see the redstone lamps are filling up right there but then the last ones are going to take just a little bit of extra time because it has to go all the way down here and then all the way down to the other side so if we just fast forward through time then we can see it hit this last torch and then we can go over here and boom all of the pistons are filling in now I actually added in one extra item just to make sure that our overflow storage works just fine and that should be going through you see the bad you see that torch going through there and now it should fill up right there perfectly on schedule and i'm gonna be honest i just i don't even know what to say i'm so happy to have this it's been so long coming for us to get a storage system in this world like a real storage system and this is just the first plan of a three tier system we're gonna have this multi-item storage here so we're gonna be able to store every single item in the game in these chests here and then once we get too many of a certain item, then we're going to have another storage system that's over here. And it's going to be just a typical, you know, three or four chests worth of storage for each item. So it's going to be like a slightly more bulk storage. And then once, you know, that bulk storage fills up, then we're going to have a super mega storage in the back that's going to have like shulker box loaders. And that's going to be for stone and deep slate and all the things that we have just are an absolutely ridiculous amount of stuff. But I mean, whatever, I, I could talk about this forever. I have got to get this episode out because it is, I think, two days late now, which I feel really, really bad about. So I'm so sorry this took me so long. I just really didn't expect this to take as long as it did and to be quite as difficult as it was. But you know what it doesn't really matter because we got here in the end and i am just so excited so anyway i'm gonna get this video edited i'm gonna get it out and i will see you in the next episode bye